Hi, I'm Lou with another episode of My Car Story. And today we're out in Elmhurst, Illinois at the Larry Roche Car Show. And it's a great day out here in, in Elmhurst. So I'm with Dennis. Dennis, what's your last name? Dennis Sarzinski. And Dennis has got a great car. Dennis, what did you bring today? I got a 70 Dodge Super B446 pack car. <laughs> so, fun car. What color? Bright yellow, banana or lemon twist yellow. Lemon twist yellow. yellow. So let me grab the camera. I just want to interview you for just a second. Okay. So when you got this car, first of all, we got the Super B on the shirt. So when you got this car, tell me, how did you first of all, what made this car the car for you? When did you first get it? What year? I got a 1979, uh, right out of, year out of high school. And you knew this was the car for you? I knew it was something special when I saw it, because especially with the six pack in it, I had to have it. And, and who helped you with this one? We got to give her a shout out. No, I did it all myself. Uh, my aunt basically, well, I did all the body work and the mechanical work it needed, but my aunt helped me uh, buy it because she floated me alone to get it. So, <laughs> <laughs> so That's awesome. a year out of high school, I had no money, but I got the money from her. So That's awesome. thank God for my aunt. And and I'll say just for retrospect, and you gave her some interest back. Oh yeah, I paid yeah. her. I have to. I get killed by my parents. <laughs> So. All right, let's take a look at your car. Come on right alongside right. me. And there is the 70 Superbird. And with this amazing lemon twist color, there's no question that not only do you hear it, but you see it from a mile away. And I always enjoyed that little emblem with the bumblebee with the race helmet on it. I just thought that was classic. Yeah. So, how much work did you have to do on this car? I mean, it's a 1970, you bought it in 79. How, right. much, how much work was there to do on the car? I basically had to strip it down the bare metal because the guy put a lacquer paint job on it and it uh, kind of went south on it. So, so I had to strip it down and repaint it and I had the bumpers chromed and, and that, and I had the engine redone. Okay. Re -re Obviously, we've got the uh, 440. Right. It is a true 446 back car. When people take in that profile right there. And the badge is reflective. Matter of fact, if I walk across it, maybe the sun's in it just right, it'll reflect there. That was just such a nice touch too, right? Yeah. That stripe around the back, and right. then the, and then the uh, spoiler really sets off the back well. The lines are the same instead of. <laughs> Love the plate. Yeah, the B. Yeah, you know it's me. <laughs> that is great. So now the Super B was the, the, the souped up coronet. Coronet, right, correct. correct. There was the RT the and, the, and the Super B. And then the Coronet 500. Let's open up the interior. Yeah, sure. Both open and this came with the car, too. Right, that's the, the Rumble pack that you Dodge offered that year. And the metal up top and the vinyl here. You know, it's got, the, the nice thing is too, you know, we're talking about a B, it has the bumblebee colors to it. The black along with the yellow. Yeah, it doesn't get more themey than that, does it? You know? <laughs> and you've got, what do they call that? The tic tac, tic -tac clock. Tic tac clock. Got it. The original radio. You know, so much of uh, the experience of this car. Did it have the beep beep horn or did it have a different horn? Pardon me? Did it have the beep beep horn? Or no, it... that's a Roadrunner. Yeah, okay. it's, it's totally different now. Yeah. You know what? Let's open up the hood. All right. I want to hear the horn just on, so people have the difference. All right. Because people are so used to sometimes seeing that little beep beep sound, and I know it's got the beep beep horn. There we go. Isn't that beautiful? I mean, even that, right? I mean, you got the yellow in the background on the firewall, and then right. this and orange. And orange just pops right out on you, know, isn't it? Um, heavy orange. I have to say, you know, we really did it well. We really did it well. I love all the little badges that you have here. And Chrysler here. We get that low power badge there. Dennis, this might be the first time you actually be able to read it because it'll be full size on your computer. <laughs> All of the 
regulator. Yeah. And it just looks wonderful. Well, we need to, well, we get one more badge. I got a couple yep. of badges on the side. There's a nice one. A 440 cubic inch. Along with your fender tag. Let's, uh, let's start it up, shall we? All right. Shake, doesn't yeah, it? it does. It's got just a nice a little rumble to just it. Just a little shake. Let me keep it idle for a second. Last night when it was nice and cool and it just scooted last night it loves the cool air it, it sounds, runs it it's a great. fun car to drive let's have you shut the hood and have you stand right next to it well dennis first and foremost thanks for being such a great caretaker for this car it's definitely got the right owner thanks so much for being on my car store well thanks for taking the time and filming it thanks